Hey guys, this was a silver trout for bait on this one, but it wasn't spotted. Put that away, clear the lines here. You still getting line on them? Trying to keep an eye on where Mike is with the fish. You still good? Okay, keep keep pressure on him. Don't ever give him slack. If when he's when he's not running from you, keep reeling. Keep pressure on him. As long as he's off the side, when he starts coming up towards the front of the boat, Mike, yeah. I want you to tell me because I'm looking for a a, 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 a belt for you. A what? A belt, fighting belt. Because oh. then, then we can here we go, and we can take it out of the rod holder. Get you to move around if you want. Fits me, it'll fit Mike. All right, we'll give you a little more slack. We're gonna have to be careful when we get them both side because keep reeling them, keep pressure on them. This might not be able to loosen as easy as I thought. Keep pressure on them, keep pressure on them, Mike. Keep reeling. You can keep that line, you get it to even out on the wraps. All right, do the best you can because you got it heavy on one side, but yeah, yeah. we'll just play it play by ear. Especially with it locked into the the gimbal or whatever the rod holder in there. There, wait, I'll reach around. Here. If this don't fit you, I'm gonna yell at least you. You're going on diet. It's easier than putting it in on your parts. You want to pull it out of the rod holder? It's up to you. Go ahead. Lift it up, Mike, but hold it. You got to hold it really. Use both hands to lift it up. Don't let go of that rod. And then put it right in that, right in there. That just balance it in there. Now, okay, now get him. I know, but I don't want to be Walk up here. Let's see what we got. And if you have to get on the bow, be careful standing up. I'll, I'll let you get up there first, and I can hand the rod to you after you get up there. We want to see him. I also want to see if there's. I have cutters, but I didn't bring the ones I wanted. It's the one thing I forgot. I uh, had a heavy set of uh, wire cutters. Actually, I had a pair of bolt cutters, and they were by the back door. I'm going to back it up for a second, Mike. Be ready, I'm clicking in reverse. He's right under us, I don't want him. Yeah. He don't like the boat. How's that? Keep pressure on him. So tell me another uh, JK story you forgot. Yeah, D hooker's got a pair of pliers here. Oh, Mike, let me spin it around. I don't want to be anywhere near that motor. Yeah, I'm really looking for those bolt cutters. But, all right. That was a dumb move, too, because I knew what we were going to do today. And yet I didn't bring them. You having a work on? Huh? So what do you say to the guys at work? Oh. Captain Mike, what's his? It's harder than work. It's harder than work? It's fun though. We just need to see it, Mike. I, I want to see it. You know, you got to realize for, for the guys that Mike works with, I don't know what this could, you know, it's fighting, fighting like, uh, m maybe more like a, uh, a a bull shark. Black tips are real fast. This is kind of hunkering down. But uh, how big, Mike? The bait was probably as big as from your elbow to your shoulder that we yep. were using. That was the bait. Yep. So, uh, and we're on a stand up rod. I think there's about 50 pound test on there, but probably about a 150 pound braided uh, or a cable, aviation cable. 
and what did we use for a circle hook i think it was a 13 oh it's 300 pound uh cable on this one because i know the setup we opened a new pack he yeah let me speed it up he wants to go back put it back we just want to bring them up at this point we just want them up to see them you can always tell if he go get it gets away or we just cut him but you want to you want to at least be able to see them. Yeah. And if you really feel uh, tired, tell me. We'll put it back in the gunnel and I'll swap with you. But as long as you're okay, we just need to see them. Like, you could real, yeah, you'd sit down if you want to. No, I fell down. Oh, you fell down? Yeah. Just bring them up. He's got to be coming up closer now. So, again, that's a pretty big bait, but I always mention my my one friend uh first class charters todd and uh todd good uh good picture he has on a, a site on facebook called boca coast Kristen is his site and uh todd has a picture posted on there underneath his header and uh you'll see a, a half a tarpon and the tarpon that todd and his client had brought to the boat was probably in that 170 60 pound range big tarpon and at boat side a shark took and swam away with a piece about 80 90 pounds of tarpon in one one bite and the sides on that tarpon are like 14 16 inches tall maybe more and you'd see the bite radius like just one big slash on it so that if they're willing to eat a tarpon a, 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 a five pound jack is nothing I'm speeding it up my piece I got to keep them off our side. Keep yeah, keep the heat on. I think we got that drag pretty tight. You're watching that line again too, right? He's taking out line, so it's it's taking out that that line was heavy on that one side. It's, it's stripping a little bit of that out. We'll see who gets worn out first, huh? I don't know. I told you. I was I was telling Mike. I think uh, I, we hooked a couple of spotted trout. We wanted some ladyfish. We wanted jacks, and uh, the smaller jacks weren't cooperative this morning. The smaller jacks weren't cooperative this morning, so we wound up. Oh, just shut that down. I'm going to turn it back up. It's just running hot, so we're on our own for a minute. Let me just see if it'll shut down and me come up again. This engine doesn't, it's warm water and it doesn't like to idle very well. Real, try them again, Mike. Keep going, Mike. That was the most dead time I had on the air. But I'm looking at this motor and it's not liking it. And this guy is staying right under our boat. I mean, I wish he had shoot towards the bow or do something different. You know what I might do, Mike? I'm gonna change, yeah, I'm gonna change uh, angle on him. I'm gonna back away. Let's see if I don't screw up the line by doing this though. Be prepared. You're gonna have to take a blind on me, Mike. Real. Real. Keep reeling. We're right, he's right under us now. I'm gonna try to change the angle on him. You all right? Straight up and down fight now. He's, he keeps on swimming towards the back of the boat. Come on, Mike. Bring him up. Let's just see him. He's got to be coming. He's got to be within sight. He's under us now. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, there he is. There he is. Finally got it up. He got a bull shark. 
bull? Yeah, it's a bull. Look at that shark. How's that? How's that for a shark, Mike? <laughs> Say it, Shark Week. Shark Week. All right. Sharknado. Uh, we're gonna clip this guy. All right. That's uh, that was a good fight. Let's see if we'd pull him free. I need a man. Uh, pull him in closer. Put this guy in neutral. Yeah. All right. Here, come on. Let's. Come on. How's that? <laughs> this tail slapped me. Give me a <laughs> high five or a fist bump. Fist bump. Fist high bump. Five. High five. Signing off on what? JK9303. Shark Week. All right, let's have a beer and we're going to take a break. Head in. Call, call Elaine.